Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I uh, wanted to give uh, another product to try for you guys. And I figured since I was trying it for the first time, I'd like to check it out as well. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I think I got it at Target or Walmart or something. It's called uh, Bravo Sierra deodorant, sandalwood and fig. And um, I like it because it's uh, it's made in USA, of course. Um, and I like this. Um, we develop and field test our products with a community of over a thousand U.S. military service members and veterans to ensure our formulas perform in the most demanding conditions. So that's a macho statement, which is cool, but I also, um, I, like, I like that they, um, they, they give a nod to, to veterans. They also give, they don't just give a nod, they give 5% uh, of their sales with programs dedicated to the well-being of U.S. military service members, veterans, and their families. So that's pretty cool too, they're giving back to those who give the most for our freedoms in our country. Um, so I haven't used this yet. Um, honestly, I don't really have a, a, an issue with body odors. I don't use deodorant very often. Um, I usually just drink a lot of water and stay clean. Uh, I guess I'm just blessed in that uh, I have pretty good body chemistry. I know some of you guys out there, no matter what you do, you know, you can make the least exertion and start sweating and your, your sweat is really pungent. So for some of us, it's an issue. So, um, you know, I just, I go to the store and it's like a wasteland. <laughs> when, when you're looking for men's products, whether it's shampoos, soaps, deodorants, shaving products, there's like this wasteland of the abundant products that are absolute crap. They're made from the worst ingredients. Uh, they're mass manufactured. Um, they're made by like these, you know, greedy companies that are, you know, awake and uh, and anti-American, anti-family, anti-military. You know, and you just come away going, what do I buy? You know. This is all just terrible stuff. So every now and then you come across something like this, that their heart's in the right place and hopefully their product is too. Let's check it out. Whoa, this smells really good. The fig seems really prominent. Sandalwood's more of a subtle overtone, but I like it. Yeah, it goes on, goes on pretty easily. And yeah, it's really nice on the skin. Now, obviously, with anything scent-based, just like colognes, if if you and I both put it on, it might smell totally different because of body chemistry. But I will say that what you're starting with, just out of the, I don't know what you would even call this, the chunk. <laughs> <laughs> out of the chunk, uh, it's pretty good. Um, and I could definitely wear this every day. And it's subtle enough that I could actually wear this to work. I can't usually wear colognes to work uh, because um, this any kind of strong sense, because I work with patients, uh, some people have allergies or sensitivities to stuff like that. So they really frown on wearing perfume or cologne in the hospital. But something subtle like this, I could probably get away with. Um, and again, yeah, my clothes and stuff like that. I will show you a trick though. Um, if you ever do want to use cologne and you don't want it to kill people, you can always pull one of these and spray some in the air and then just walk into it and let it kind of settle on you a little bit. And then you will get the fragrance 
but the fragrance won't get the people that you encounter. If you get my name. It won't, it won't pummel them like a hammer. It'll entice them like an alluring aroma. So, much better way to do fragrances. Um, so, let's see if uh, we can dig into the ingredients here. Um, Bio-based propylene glycol water, uh, a bunch of a bunch of chemical names in here. I'm going to read some of this stuff. Diatomaceous earth, silica, fragrance. Most of these are like copolymers and things like that. Aloe leaf juice, hydrolyzed jojoba, esters, algae extract, ginseng extract. This is the good part down here. Free of, this is the big thing with uh, deodorants, free of aluminum, uh, parabens, PEGs, baking soda, silicones, phthalates, uh, phenoxyethanol, and animal derived ingredients. Our scent profile, energizing and vibrant notes of fig, tangerine, amber, and sandalwood. That sounds about right. Not tested on animals. So there you go. Check these guys out. Bravo Sierra. They make a good deodorant. Uh, look online. Look at your local stores. Um, if I remember where I got this, I'll put it in the description. Thanks for checking in, guys. God bless. There.